Hey guys, I had to make this video. I was watching some Magic Esports on their YouTube channel, and I came across this game with Jessica Epstein versus Savaz. And obviously, we know Savaz is not a pro Magic player. He doesn't have any pro po points. His ELO is 1500, meaning that he's never won at Paper Magic before, or even lost at Paper Magic. And he was playing Jessica. This has to be one of the worst games of Magic I've ever seen from Jessica's side. She had every advantage. She could have easily won. There's multiple targets she could have. I'm not going to... I'll spoil for you right now. She could negate Nexus of Fate or Tamiyo, and then she would have easily won, won the game. So look at the hand. Look at her current hand. She has all the removal. She has all the beatdown. You should not lose... If you're in Jessica's position with a full grip of cards, you got your thief that's stealing cards every single turn. You got removal. This was played to lose. There's not many ways Jessica can lose from this particular perspective, at least as of now. But man, does he do it. I'm shocked that this is the level of quality that the MPL is saying is professional. Uh, the MPL cannot be a professional league if this is what happens all the time. And this is the only video I watched so far, but I'm sure that I will have other instances where high level magic is played. This is the worst game of magic I've ever seen from Anybody now, of course, many times when you're playing against a physical opponent, you don't actually, or even digital, you don't know what they have. From Jessica's perspective, there's no way you lose this game right now, but it gets lost. Uh, it, it got lost. I'm baffled, and if this is the quality of play. Tomorrow, I'm going to have a video on exactly how many the numbers. Out of the 32 MPL members, only 28 of them stream. And out of those 28, not including the four that do not stream or have not streamed in over 30 days, they on average get 300 viewers a stream. These people are being paid $75,000 and they can't even break 1,000 viewers. They can't even break 500. Most of them don't even break 200 viewers. Remember, the average is 300, but the average includes Savis and some other po more popular streamers. This type of play, I mean, even if my opponent in, like, bronze played this way, I would, not that I can chat him and tell him he's bad at magic, but I would be like, oh, this guy's really bad at magic. I can't imagine this level of play being shown to and represented as the best there is. Certainly, there's got to be Bella out there. And I'm reminded of the Manosaur story where he had everyone, including me, vote for him into the Community Cup. Now, if you know something about the Community Cup, they Wizard of Coast versus, quote, the community... And the community always wins because if the community wins, the players all get, which would be me and you, get prizes like free booster packs and Magic Online, which used to be a big deal. I mean, we're talking 15 to $25 per person in prizes. And he couldn't win a single game. Not a match, a single game. And that's when it dawned upon me that, wait a second, maybe there are people creating content and, you know, donations and all these interesting things that are happening in our community and they don't actually play Magic. It never dawned upon me at that until that point in time that, wait a second, the Magic Source doesn't have a local game store. He says, don't support your local game stores. And he's really bad at Magic. Could it be that he doesn't actually play no, couldn't it be, right? But now we have like evidence that these people are either very bad at magic, intentionally losing at magic, which I don't see the point for because you're getting paid. I I cannot imagine. Look at look at the board on this. Oh, come on, like it doesn't make any sense. 
the negate, negate it, <laughs> negate Tamio. I love Tamio, but sometimes you gotta negate her. This doesn't make any sense. Like, he has one very long shot out, and you're holding the gate in your hands. You keep hold. Oh, now we're using Anissa. So let me get this straight. We had the gate in our hands. Tamio, Nexus, any of these, any of these would have won you the game. But you thought Nissa was more important than the Tamio or the Nexus. Or another Nexus. This is incredibly poor Magic the Gathering play. I'm not gonna I'm not a professional magic player. But even I understand that the odds of Jessica losing is very, very slim. Probably a 99% win rate four minutes before we hit this point. And, yep. More power to Saviz. He's playing a much weaker deck. He's not net decking like Jessica is net decking at this point in time. Jessica, I believe, is playing, it looks like, Esper Control or Demir Control. Look at that, Saviz, drawing all those. I mean, his deck is interesting. He's an interesting guy. And this is where Jessica is going to go ahead and concede. Because, you know, why not? That's exactly what champions do, right? They don't fight to the bitter end. And she has outs. She has flyers. She has blockers. She has the ability to try to make this a game, but she just quits. Which is fine. Bye, guys.